Hello dear students, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss very small topic, sieving, then sedimentation, descendation and filtration. These are very small topics. The video will end soon, so be happy. See, first topic is sieving. So what is sieving, do you know? Maybe your mother is doing the sieving purpose, sieving. You can see, first of all I will show you a picture, then you will understand a little bit more. See this picture, page number 38, if you are not able to see, open your textbook and see. Page number 38, figure 5.6. What is this? Using a strainer, we can say strainer or sieve. Using a sieve, the fine flows of rice is being separated from heavier particles. Isn't it? Aripo biositri, aripodi, aristidikinu. Fine particles are going down and the heavier particles are staying in the upside top portion. This is called sieving. So using a device, we separate two particles. One of them will be heavier one and one of them should be lighter. So in a sieving, one should be heavier object. Okay, instead of heavier, it's larger in size. One of them is larger in size, other one is fine. So the fine particles are coming downside and the larger particles or bigger particles they are staying in the upside. This is called sieving. Have you seen this elsewhere? There is another picture in your textbook, isn't it? What is that? We are separating pebbles from the sand. Maybe you have seen or your parents might have seen or if you have any brother or sister they might have been seen because nowadays we are using M sand which does not consist any pebbles but earlier days we used sand that we obtained from our rivers in that sand there will be small pieces of stones that is called pebbles seral kallugal so we remove that pebbles by using this sieving method so this is the first Sorry, not first, is the third method, isn't it? Once more, let me count. Hand picking method, threshing, winnowing, sieving. It's the fourth method. It's the fourth method of separating two different substances. One of them should be larger in size, other should be smaller in size. So we can separate them by using a sieve. In the case of tea leaves, we are separating tea leaves from the by using a strainer, isn't it? That is also almost a process that is similar to sieving, but it is not sieving. It is a different method. So sieving you can understand by looking into your sieber in your home, Aripa, using that your mother is performing every day. I think so. Next one is sedimentation, desendation, and filtration. So what are these methods? Let us move on to that one. So, if you get a hot tea with many tea leaves in that, what you will do? You will place that tea glass there, wait for some time and you can see the tea leaves or the tea powder get deposited here in the bottom, isn't it? Now what we will do, either we will sip the tea or we will transfer it into another glass without this powder, isn't it? So the settling down of the particles is called or we are waiting for settling down of the particles. Hence we are removing the waste particle or impurities. This process is called sedimentation. Sedimentation is the method in which the particles are allowed to settle down in a mixture. Next one, descendation. Descendation means the above fluid. So it is possible only in the case of fluids, isn't it? The solids will not settle down. If we, if we add, mix sand and salt and we place it in a glass, do it settle down? It's already in settle down portion, isn't it? Only in the case of liquids, it is possible. So if we add some mud water, mud into water, and we place that glass for some time, we can see 
slowly the mud get deposited and in the bottom side and the pure water will be staying in the upside isn't it so we can take this pure water out of this bottle this process process of removal of the top portion from a sedimented liquid which is called descendation once again settling of the heavier particles which is called sedimentation and removing the top portion from the this sedimented liquid that is called descendation do you understand so when we pour this tea into another glass without tea powder that process is called descendation and last one filtration in this method we'll use a filter paper so we will not we do not have time for waiting if the mother gives some tea we have no enough time to wait for that we are already late for our school bus so what we will do we we'll take a glass another glass put a strainer here what is strainer aripa we will place a strainer here and we will pour the we will pour this tea into the strainer all the tea leaves get or the tea powder get deposited here only tea comes down and it settle in the bottle so we get tea without tea powder by using a strainer aripa by using a strainer we get tea without tea leaves or tea powder this method by using some substance maybe a filter paper or maybe a strainer by using these substances if you remove the impurities it is called filtration method filter paper is mostly used to separate dust from pure water so if you are pouring the water into this filter paper the dust particles that is contained in the water will settle or will stay in the filter paper itself and only pure water oozes out of the filter paper so by this method we can filter water you may have seen filters water filters that means removing the dust so this filtration method is done by using any of the material like filter paper or strainer such type of materials what it what function it will do it will remove the dust particles or fine particles from a mixture so these are the three methods in the case of liquids sedimentation descendation and filtration hope it is clear for you thank you for watching have a nice day